session of Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are analyzing a rectangular column for non-linear buckling analysis. We have already seen the linear buckling analysis. Today, we will see how to analyze a column for buckling analysis by using non-linearity into it. Previously, we have only considered the linear aspect of it. Today, we will leave it to a non-linear system. Linear means the force and displacement are directly proportional to each other. But when they are not directly proportional and they have some sort of a non-linearity in them, that is going to be encountered in this analysis. We will start by double-clicking on static structural. I leave the material as structural steel, which is the default material of ANSYS. I'll go to geometry, right click, new design modular geometry, units I'll choose as millimeter, XY look at, it's a simple rectangle. I'll give it dimensions, say it is 20 by 20 square, extrude, say I extrude for 400 mm and generate. This is the column that we are going to analyze. I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll go to mesh and choose the method. I'll select the entire column. I'll change method to hex dominant. And I'll give some sizing of the mesh. Default is 19 mm. Say I give it as 4 mm. Update. This is the column. I'll first go to static structural and insert fix support. On the other end, I'll insert force. I'll change vector to component. This direction is Z direction. I'll give a node of minus 20 kN. I'll give I want to see the deformation along the z-axis. I also want to see the stress, one my stress. I'll solve it. Here what you see is the linear directional deformation. You can animate and see the result. And this is the equivalent stress, 72.87 megapascal generated by the body. This was the static structural part. Now I'll go to eigenvalue buckling and drag it over the solution so that all the results of static structural will be transferred to the buckling model. I'll go to setup and double click on it. I'll change the max modes in analysis settings to 3. I'll go to solution and solve. Three modes have been generated. I'll select all create mode shape results and I'll solve it. This is the first deformation over the body. The load multiplier is 2.0592. This is the second deformation. The load multiplier is 2.0592. We'll go for the third deformation. Here the load multiplier is 18.382. By load multiplier, I mean with this 18.382, if I multiply 20 kN, whatever value I get is approximately say 37 kN is the value. When that value is applied, you will see a buckling effect of this sort. That's the meaning of load multiplier. Now, this is a simple 
linear analysis that I have done. Here you can see it is mentioned that the load multiplier is of linear sort. Now I will change this analysis to non-linear. I will go to analysis settings of static structural and here I will change auto time stepping to on. I will define by substeps. Say the initial substeps I give is 10. Minimum substeps is 5 and maximum substeps is 25. Since we are going into non-linearity of the system, we should always change large deflection to on. Solver type from program control, I'll change it to direct. Now I'll go to solution of buckling analysis and solve it again. You are saying pre-stress load pattern field in the buckling analysis settings to yes. If you check, it is already to yes. There is no requirement of changing it. You can see here, keep pre-stress load pattern, it's already yes. Now when you go to load deformation, you can see it is non-linear load multiplier. The value is 1.0611. We will see the pattern of deformation. For second one, the value is also 1.0611 and this is the way it is moving. Now we have the third one. Here the load multiplier value is 17.401. You can see that approximately the load multiplier has become half in the non-linear as compared to the linear load multiplier. So that's the analysis wherein you are analyzing the non-linear part of it. Also, since you have introduced non-linearity, the static structure analysis has also gone into non-linearity. You can check here. There is a non-linearity of deformation because it is changing with respect to time now. And this is the equivalent stress which is also changing with respect to time as you can see here. So that's how you analyze a column for non-linear buckling analysis. I hope you have understood the analysis. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.